Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to do a review of the iPhone 10, except I didn't want to do a techie review, um, even though this is going to be sort of a techie review. I want to do a realistic view, uh, a realistic review for just the average consumer person like me who just wants to use his phone for photos or um, for watching videos or any of those things. So we're going to go through a few different things and I'll tell you what we're going to go through. We're going to go through um, the camera because I mean who doesn't use their phone for the front facing camera the back camera 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 We're gonna go through speed now speed isn't as important for just the daily user However, I really really get annoyed when my phone goes slow So I find speed very important the next is face ID now as you know touch ID has gone They have just gotten rid of it and you can see there's only um, I don't know if you can see that but don't worry. I'll do close-ups um, face ID is pretty much uh, is the only thing that you have so it has we have to make sure that it unlocks straight away like that bam right unlock brilliant so next thing we have to, um i want to just see how good it is is video is the video good watching youtube videos on this with the weird looking cut off over the top here and the, is it good or is it not good we're going to go through that what else are we going to go through we're going to go through well i'm going to compare it to my iphone um se just speed wise camera wise um, I know it's it's a bit of a stupid comparison because this thing is years old, but it's just what I was using before I got this. The next is um, the different gestures because like there's a gesture in the top corner, there's a gesture in that corner, there's a gesture in this corner, there's, a, there's just gestures everywhere. So gestures is another thing that we are going to cover. And then we have an emojis because why the hell not? They're fun and they're stupid and they're funny. So we're going to go through the emojis, and lastly, we're going to discuss wireless charging, which again, we won't discuss because I don't have a wireless charger. I didn't want to spend the extra £150 on the wireless charger docking thingy. So I might just buy one on Amazon, but for now, whatever. But let's get straight into this review, starting with the camera. So the first thing I thought I would test would, was going to be the camera. So this is the front facing camera. Um, excuse me if I'm looking at the screen, not the camera. I'm just used to that. Um, this is the front facing camera. And we'll do a back facing camera as well test now, but this is actually not so bad. I mean, the, the, the sky over here is a bit blown out, but if I focus on the sky, it, it comes into focus. It comes like the exposure is very, very fast. So um, just remember also that the camera is gonna be very good quality because I'm outside and the lighting is incredible. Well, it's not incredible, but the lighting is very good. And you can see here, if I go into the sun-ish area, where the sun is, the lighting gets even better. So let's test out the back camera now. The back camera seems pretty good as well. Um, I'm not shooting at 4K at the moment just because I'm going to be exporting this video to 1080 anyways. But um, I guess I could shoot in 4K, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm testing this camera out in 1080. Now, another thing we want to test with this phone is, well, another part of the camera, is the actual camera. So the taking photos camera. So on this phone, there are um, the normal one. So let me just turn it around. So you have the normal one, and then you have the, um, the, the zoom one. For some reason, I've forgotten how to get to that, though. No, I haven't. Um, you have the normal camera, and then you have the two times zoom because it's got the double lens over here. So... Um, I'm going to just take a bunch of photos around my house, around the garden, whatever, and I'll pop them up on the screen here and you can have a look at them. So in terms of cameras, and this is coming from someone who has lots of cameras, likes photography, takes photography, professional photographer, um, the camera was the most important part of the entire phone for me. This is a ridiculously good camera and the video that I shot with it wasn't in 4K and just I was just looking through the photos here and the the camera is is just insane it's like and the slow motion came out very cool um yeah it's it's a ridiculously good camera so in terms of the camera checkbox just for the average user i'm giving it a fat tick because the camera is is really really good the next thing we want to discuss was speed now in terms of speed i don't really know how you like test speed i mean you could do that geek bench thing but i don't have that app because like i said 
I just that's I just don't have that app. So I'm gonna test the speed just by opening stuff and closing stuff. And okay, so let's say I want to open an app that I haven't opened before yet. Um, Garage Band, Garage Band, however you say it. Okay, I mean, it's pretty fast. I'm still getting used to the whole, the whole thing really. That that's pretty fast. And then to get home is just to swipe up from the bottom, I think. Um, let's have a look. What else? Um, let's open iMovies. It's another powerful app that probably needs a lot of speed. Again, let's create a new project, movie, uh, based on that, that, and that, select, create movie, creating movie. Yeah, this is, this is flipping fast. This is really, really fast. Let's open another just random app. Um, let's open slopes. Brilliant. Uh, again, for me, this, this phone is by far fast enough. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna be, I don't, I'm not doing all the technical speed analysis test, all that sort of rubbish. But it is, the I would say, one of the fastest phones on the market right now. I have used Samsung's and other phones as well. And this does have one of the fastest, fastest chips ever. And because it's not an open source, um, because it's not open source platform, whereas it means like Android, anyone can do stuff to it. Um, these phones tend to stay fast for a very long time, which is a big thing for me because when I had my Samsung, it got slow after a couple of months, but this is just great. But I'm not bashing Samsung. Samsung's are also brilliant. They're both good phones in their own um, right. So after the speed test, we wanted to check out Face ID. How good is Face ID? Does it actually work? Does it not work? Let's check it out. So, pretty simple. So you can see that lock, right? And it just unlocks. It's really fast and if I'm looking away, it won't unlock, but when I look at it, bam, it unlocks. The only annoying thing is that I can't really do it, well I can, but it's harder to do it with one finger, with one hand. Let's say, see I'm wearing my cap now, if I do it without my cap, I mean, I don't see why it shouldn't work. Um, and now I could go and get some glasses, I'll go and get some green glasses. Very Casey Neistat right now, let's see if this works. Oh wow, it worked. I did not expect it to work. Honestly, I can't see my own eyes. You can't. You really can't see your eyes through this. And flipping it. Okay, so. Yep. Bam. Wow. Okay, and with a cap on as well. I'm covering up more of my face right now. Oh, right there. So Face ID is, if not faster, better in every single possible way than um, Touch ID. And not only is it, I think, faster. I think it is safer. Just because um, you, it doesn't work if, the, if, if like you're trying to unlock someone's phone when they're sleeping. I'm going to put these back on. It doesn't work if you're trying to unlock other people's phones when they're sleeping or um, if they're in the car and they're driving, you want to unlock their phone. And you, you, no, you actually have to look at it and then it unlocks, which is pretty cool. So, um, right. Now, what's the next thing that we wanted to discuss? The next thing we wanted to discuss was, let's have a look. Um... Well, video. Now, when I say video, I don't mean the video on the camera. I mean just watching a YouTube video. So, for example, let's watch a YouTube video. Um, how to display your Lego. You're staring at screens to make your eyes or I should say an ad. Okay, so now you can see. It's very sunny. Okay. Now, it's not the whole thing, but I think you can expand it to be the whole thing, but I'm not sure how to do that. So, in terms of watching videos back on this, um, I'm quite satisfied, to be honest. It's got a massive, massive screen, and it makes use of its screen. Like, the video, even though it doesn't go, even though it doesn't go up to the edge of the display, you know, with the little flicky thing, um, even though it doesn't go up to the edge, it's still a big screen, like, it's a very big screen. And, to be honest, you can expand it and go up to the edge, but again, I don't really know how to do that yet. I'm going to figure that out. Um, I think there's just a button I have to click, but I don't know what it is yet. Um, what else is there we wanted to talk about? We wanted to talk about, um, we wanted to compare it to the SE, but since making this video, I've decided that that's really stupid because this thing is super powerful. It's much better in every single way than the SE and comparing it would just be a waste of my time and pretty much a waste of your time. So the next thing we want to discuss was swipes. So you have a bunch of different swipes here. You've got from the top left, you've got notifications. You've got from the top right the 
task manager quick thing where you can I don't know add tabs and do the calculator and the and the brightness and the volume and the camera and the torch and just like the quick link sort of thing then you have from the bottom you have okay so I'll open an app let's open let's open notes so from the bottom this is how you get home it's very simple you just swipe up from the bottom and if you want to switch between apps you swipe up and you hold it there and then all the other apps go brilliant so those are the four swipes I reckon again you can also swipe from the left screen and it will bring up just again not not necessarily notifications but like the news and the calendar or your widgets I think that's what they're called so the next thing we wanted to talk about was the um, the animojis and the animojis are an amazing fun thing to do and literally let's make a poo one so um, where's mr. poo man this is the poo animoji, and as you can see, it's really, really responsive, as I can, like, it's, it's stupidly responsive how fast it is. And, um, like, I'm gonna go from sad to smiling, and you'll see how quick it is. It's, it's just really, really fast. So, that is animojis. Now, they are stupidly fast, like, it's crazy how fast they are, it's really, really good. So, look. I don't know if anyone, everyone's going to use that, I don't know if anyone's going to use that. It's just a bit of extra fun, just to, to brighten up someone else's day, just to make the conversation a bit happier. It's just funny. It's just another way to send an emoji. The last thing we wanted to discuss was wireless charging, which I said I wasn't going to discuss because I don't actually have a wireless charger. So that is pretty much it for the iPhone 10 review. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you're a Samsung fan, then please, please tell me why your Samsung is better because I like those comments. And if you're an iPhone fan, then let me know if you got the iPhone 10. And again, this was just a review for the average person, not for someone who does tech reviews all the time. I know I've posted a few videos about the iPhone, but this is just a video for an average person to, to, to how they would get on using this phone. I'll probably make an update video in a month or something just to see like how it's been going. But, um, but yeah, that's the review for the iPhone. And let me know what you think and if you liked it. And um, please give this video a thumbs up and check out tomorrow's video.